Hey, so let's go about creating the wooden floor. The first thing I'd do is hide the ceiling and probably all the other objects. So what I'd do is just select the floor and the walls and um, use isolate to hide all the other objects. So now we've only got these two selected. To create the wooden floor, we're going to use a great plugin by the guys at CG Source. It's called Floor Generator. You will need to create an account and log in, it is free. And once you have, you can go to Floor Generator and download the free version. And while you're here as well, we'll also download Multi Texture Map. So you can go over here and download that here as well. Once you've got them downloaded, you can extract them. So firstly, let's do multi texture. So select whatever version of Max you're using. In my case, I'm using 16. Select it, right click and copy. And go over to your C drive program and go over to your C drive program files, Autodesk and Max 2016 and go to plugins. You can click anywhere and hit P and then you'll find plugins and then right click and paste it in here. And for floor generator, we'll do the same. We'll select 2016 and we'll right click, copy it and paste it into the plugins folder. So now it's probably about time we save our scene. Go to save as and save it wherever you're going to be working. So we can call this master bedroom and hit save. Now we've got to restart max to enable the plugins we just installed. So I'll be back once we've done that. Great, so now we've got them plugins installed, um, we're going to do a similar thing to what we did with the coving. We're going to go to create, shape, line. This time we'll create a rectangle. And we'll snap it hit by hitting S and snap it to the corners of your room. And we'll also drag it down and make sure it's on the floor. Next up, with the rectangle selected, we can go to the modifier list and find floor generator. Now you can see what that's done. Now let's change the max length to 600 and we'll change the max width to 50. So that's looking good. So now we've got some floor in. Now we have added floor. We're going to have to move the furniture up because we've added about a centimeter to the floor. So we can unisolate everything. We can go to the left viewport and hit F3. And let's just click and drag to select. And then holding Alt, we can deselect the windows and curtains. So we should only have all this furniture selected. And then we should be able to just move these up. Actually, make sure we've got the rug selected as well. Hit P and Z and then press F3 and press F4 to hide the wireframes and we can see we've got all our furniture in and it's looking pretty good.